As your Premier, I am working to bring change and open government to our province. This online report is one part of that change. I made a commitment to regularly update you, to keep in touch with you, and this is my first quarterly web report. After all, you're paying the bills, and I think you have a right to know what we're doing with your tax dollars. I've had four open town hall meetings in the last three months. They've been a chance to hear directly from British Columbians, to answer your questions, and to gather ideas about things that we can implement in government. One of the top concerns I've heard is that we need to focus on protecting current jobs as well as creating new ones. And so from my first day in office, I've made jobs our absolute top priority. My new smaller cabinet includes a new ministry that brings all of government's job creation activities under a single roof so we can get better results. I view part of my job as being a saleswoman to bring investment to BC. And that was the focus of my recent trips to Ottawa and Toronto. And in the coming weeks, we'll be rolling out a brand new jobs plan for BC. Specifically, I've been actively supporting the C-SPAN bid for a part of the $35 billion national shipbuilding contract from the federal government. This will mean jobs for generations of workers in BC, and I recently announced training funds to help support the shipbuilding industry. Focusing on jobs is the most important thing government can do to put families first. But it's not the only thing. We also need to make it easier for families to get ahead. And that's one of the reasons why my first change was to raise the minimum wage. It's also why we've undertaken initiatives like reviewing BC hydro rates and ferry rates to head off massive price increases, stopping ICBC from raising insurance rates after a single speeding ticket, and cancelling parking fees in provincial parks, which I think is a great way to celebrate the 100th anniversary of British Columbia's parks. Helping families is also why our changes to the HST will cut the rate from 12% to 10 while asking big businesses to pay just a little bit more. To make up some of that revenue, recognizing that the HST itself is a cost savings to most businesses. The changes to the HST mean the average family will pay $120 less per year than if we go back to the old PST GST system. I'm proud of these changes, but even more proud of the way we developed them. That was through a consultation that involved hundreds of thousands of British Columbians just like you. We listened to people and then we acted decisively. And I think that's exactly how government should work. The referendum is underway now and I hope you'll take the time to vote. As I've said many times, I share the anger that many people felt about the way the HST was introduced. But I honestly believe that it is the best way to create jobs and get our economy moving. Now finally, let me say something about the riot in Vancouver on June 15th. Like most people, I'm sad and I'm really angry about the violence and the destruction that we witnessed. There's no excuse for it. And the people involved have to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So our government is ensuring that police and the Crown have the resources and the money that they need and organizing a review to make sure we learn why it happened. But like a lot of bad things in life, this event also brought out the good in people. During the riot itself, many people put themselves very seriously in harm's way to bring some sanity to our streets. And thousands more others spontaneously helped with the cleanup. And I think those people should be recognized. So I'm asking you to send the names of people who did the right thing to heroes at gov.bc.ca. Then we can give them the recognition that they deserve. As I hope you can tell, I'm committed to staying in touch and using technology to do it. It would be great if you took a minute to join my Facebook group or follow me on Twitter. Being connected is one way to bring change to government. And I hope you will help me by making sure communication is not a one-way street, but that it works two ways. Thanks so much.